You know what? I'm actually really excited because right now I'm about to shoot my first video. It's 1.18 in the morning. I'm about to shoot my first video in the series for the alphabet. <clears throat> and as silly as I thought it was before, not, not, not the word silly. Like I said, there's words that confuse things. But as difficult as it was for me to get started doing it, I've been trying for weeks now, trying to set it up and get the right camera angle to get it all shot and make sure that it looks right so people will pay attention to it. But that isn't really important. The depth of the information that I'm going to share with people is what's important. It's so deep, and I know it to be so true, that without a doubt, everyone who pays attention to it and actually gives it a few minutes of their actual thought will see it to be so true that it might blow their mind. And for the first time, when someone says, there's a first time for everything and say, ah, nothing's new, nothing happens, nothing new ever happens. Like, it might be someone's first time for an experience of some sort. But for a human being to really be able to show people what things are, what they mean, and to start from a physical point. At one point, I didn't know how to do this, but I'm learning in a physical world through a physical vehicle when I tap back into it. I say tap back into it because I'm always there, but there's times where I let my ego get in the way. All the time. I can't say sometimes. I mean, every day at least. Sometimes when I act like Dan. That's That sounds silly when I say that, but people will get it if they really start referring to themselves as, as their name and listening to what they're saying and say their name is going here. I'm like, I guess, because I'm inside this body called this, and you'll understand what I mean. So... I'm really excited because, I don't know, I guess before I was, uh, I don't know, the, the word for it was people, there, there really isn't a word for it, so I'll try to say it in a sentence. People think they already know the alphabet, so who am I to tell them what it means? Except for the fact that I remember being in a place where there wasn't paper and letters. I remember being in a non-place place, in a space, in a realm in a place before time, above time, throughout time, that made it possible to express symbols. And the more we could understand the symbols, the more we could use vibration. Because as soon as we have symbols, we can feel in patterns. We can see in patterns. We can think in patterns. And I was there. And the only way I can show people just a little bit of it that a body can understand is to do it this way. Very simple, very elementary, and just get straight to the point and not worry about how, how it's presented and just present the information because people are really going to understand themselves and God itself, like spirit, like without words, what the great is. I can explain God completely, but what, what God really is and Allah really is and all those things that are called different names, all those things including you and I and all the things you see, feel, think, touch, all those things, are God. But without words, that energy that is, I can explain. I, I'm it. So are you, but you're, you're, you're playing two people. You're your spirit inside your ego. And your ego may have different characteristics, and your spirit also has different emotional characteristics. And you're inside both those. There's a higher thing than what your just higher being is. That's your spirit without a body. You jump back into yourself and don't merge completely back and become whole. You're like, after you got done running, you're still tired for a minute, so you can't just go back to running. When you first die, you are God, but you're sort of a worn-out spirit version of God, not understanding itself back to that because you've been so long in what seemed like time, and it made your idea of mind, peace of spirit, get almost intertwined with what it was enjoying or what it was used to, used to doing. <laughs> so... When you, you don't, you have a chance in the spiritual part before you merge back with it to try something new because you review what you were doing in that spiritual sense, what you had set this part of you to do. All the billions of physical things, all the billions and infinite numbers of spiritual things were sent to do things in symbol. You are a sinner because you're a sign of a symbol. 
and you are a sin, which is S-I-N. The G is invisible because God isn't seen when you're the sinner. You are a sin because you're actually a sign of God, but the G is not there because God isn't seeable with the eye. I mean, it is in physical forms, all of them, but beyond the physical forms, beyond the vibrational forms, beyond the conscious forms, there is something beyond that word conscious that's so intense, it does have a definition way bigger than consciousness. And science and quantum physics will never understand it and won't try to comprehend it because they can't say it in words. And when they do try to say it in words, you can see that they haven't had that spiritual feeling where they understand because they didn't create the vowels and letters and symbols. I did. Dan didn't. But Dan did the right things for his body so he can teach people how to contact me. I. The source. And when I get sucked out into being Dan all the time, I lose this. And there was a point where Dan could communicate with spirit, and he thought it was spirits. But he realized spirit is the second form of I inside Dan. Now, when Dan leaves Dan, he's not going to go to the spiritual point and be like, Oh, what was this all about? Because he knows. I, he's traveled around in that so much, so much beyond timelessness, it seems like. It's just so infinite that it won't go away. I still see it expanding forward, backward, everywhere. There's no time or space, but it's just infinite plenty of of expansion, of, of whatever you want to call it. We don't say time. We don't say space. Those are physical people, words that are signs and gestures of certain things that we indicate with. Those are simply put, and of course that's it. But we have a mind that wants to keep having more reasons and more things and more, 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 more. Re as on. You re because you want it again. What as means is, you know, right here being as a source. Bam. Right here as. So it's like your re again as o n ongoing nature, or one, or ongoing, and then negatory, like both, here, and not, on, and not, on, and turn it backwards, no, but either of those things, you could say re, as, on, or re, as, no, or re, as, you know, being here, and not being here, so you're looking for a reason, which isn't a reason, until you make it one, so, of course, re, as, on, like, What's the reason? I don't know. Think about it. I recognize the reason. I'll tell you. I realize that as on this situation, this is why. We call it a reason. And that's exactly why. People don't know that. They just say it because it sounds right. And it sounds right because English...